The answer is, and, I, and this I, I, I say not just as an academic, but as someone who practiced in the field. Uh, I actually agree with a, a, a very well-known international lawyer no longer with us, Louis Henkin, who said that almost all states comply with almost all international law almost all the time. Most people focused on the almost, but the fact is that they do comply. It's just not front page news when they do. And they comply for reputational reasons. They comply for reciprocity reasons. They comply for market reasons. That is, with respect to, say, how you treat foreign investors, you want your foreign investors to be treated well, so you respect your foreign, their foreign investors in your territory. That's a reciprocity-based one, uh, as well as a market-based one. If you don't treat foreign investors well, you may not get them to come, and then you're stuck economically. So the answer is there are many different ways that international law gets complied with. Um, but to the extent it doesn't, it's question of long term versus short term. And it also matters what part of international law you're talking about.